In today's video, I will be showing you how to do a system restore in Windows 10. This means that you can restore your system back to a point when it was working alright. So it will basically reset the system settings back to what they were on the date that you choose. So to do this, all we need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in control panel and we then need to open control panel and you need to change the few by to small icons and you will then see an option for recovery. You need to open up recovery and you now need to click on open system restore. You then need to go ahead and press next and you can now choose the date of where you want to restore back to. So as you can see, I created a system restore point today and in fact, I created it three minutes ago just for this video. So you should have a nice list of points that you can restore back to. You can always click on show more restore points if it's not shown all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and select my restore point for today. You then need to go ahead and press next and you can then press finish and your computer will then restart and restore your system back to the point of when it was working. Just ensure you have saved everything and backed up any important documents and files before doing this just in case anything was to go wrong. But before we go any further, it's always worth clicking on scan for effective programs just so we can see what programs and drivers might be affected by doing the system restore. So at the top here, you will have programs and drivers that will be deleted. And in the bottom section here, you will then have the programs and drivers that might be restored. So once you're happy, you can then go ahead and press close and we can now press finish and Windows will restore our system back to the date that you selected. I'm going to select finish now. When you select finish, you will then get a pop up that says that system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? So we now need to press yes. So once your system has restored, you will then have a pop up window saying that it's been completed successfully. And also you can see there it says that your documents have not been affected as well. So that is how you do a system restore in Windows 10. If you'd like to know how to create a system restore point as well, then I will put a link in the description below to a video that I've done on that. So if you did enjoy this video, then click on that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.